Good afternoon, everyone. I'm uh, Mukta Atre. I am the program manager here. I couldn't be here for the first uh, few days of the workshop because I wasn't well, but uh, I believe there are a lot of queries. And uh, my colleague and I, my colleague, uh, Mrs. Gaitonde, who's our uh, funds manager, she and I will try to answer as many questions as possible. Uh, we have a slot of about 20 to 20 minutes to about half an hour, and then Professor Sudarshan wants to uh, discuss uh, details of the workshop. Uh, many of you have uh, seen this uh, uh, presentation before, uh, but there are some people here uh, whose centers are totally new. I believe there are about 25 to 30 uh, people who are uh, new to this entire uh, concept. Anybody new here? Okay, I'll just rush you through uh, our uh, entire uh, process. And uh, you, of course, uh, we will be in touch with you through email and Moodle and on the phone. And uh, you can uh, ask us, uh, you can clarify your doubts as and when you have them. But uh, yeah, we can start the presentation, please. Uh, I'm going to skip through uh, uh, the uh, history here. Uh, very, very briefly, we started the project in 1989. We have conducted 13 workshops so far. This will be our 14th workshop. We, are also, we have also entered the second phase of uh, the NME ICT project on synchronous and asynchronous empowerment of teachers and students. We now have a tie-up with IIT Kharagpur. Uh, many of you must have seen the uh, advertisement for their workshop, which they will be holding in uh, first week of June. Uh, that is actually the reason why uh, we had to sort of uh, bring forward our dates. We normally hold our workshop in June, but uh, because IIT Kharagpur was entering the field for the first time, we had to give them that slot. Hopefully, things will be more uh, streamlined as and when uh, they get used to it. So uh, we have been doing all kinds of uh, courses, all kinds of workshops so far, uh, not just uh, the core uh, engineering subject workshops, but also some uh, different workshops like uh, solar photovoltaics and writing effective uh, conference papers. We recently did also a course on uh, research methodologies in uh, educational technology. That was also a very popular course. Next one, please. So you all know what the met methodology is. We identify some uh, uh, colleges across the country which have good infrastructure, which, ha which have uh, good uh, faculty who can support our own faculty during the workshops. So that is how you all are here as coordinators to work during the workshops. Next, please. Now, uh, these are the important people at the remote centers. You being the workshop coordinator, you are specific, uh, uh, specific to the subject. That is, uh, that is the workshop that is being conducted at the moment. But there's also a remote center coordinator who takes care of all the logistics at your uh, center. Many of you are also, I think for this particular workshop, many of you are also uh, workshop coordinators and remote center coordinators. and also Akash coordinators, I think, right? Yeah. So uh, those who are new uh, for the workshop coordinators, you have to really concentrate upon the specific workshop at hand, helping out your participants during the workshop in uh, 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 problems related to the subject, while your remote center coordinator looks after all the logistics and the extraneous uh, infrastructure as to uh, say. Next. <clears throat> now I cannot uh, stress upon AVU enough. Uh, we have, uh, uh, the, especially the new centers, you all know the importance of AVU unless you are well connected to us through AVU and all your infrastructure is in place, you cannot have a workshop at your center at all. Just imagine, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. Just imagine you have a class full of people waiting expectantly for the faculty from IIT Bombay to start his or her 
uh, session and you cannot hear him or you cannot see him. Just imagine what will happen. Since this is a project which is conducted through the distance mode, you have to give specific stress to having your AVU connections in place. Uh, we will start uh, AVU testing, I think, on uh, Monday, right. And please do stick to the schedules that uh, you are given. Uh, if you do not, if your center does not test satisfactorily for AVU during these tests, we will not run the workshop at your center. That is how serious this is. Because there is no point, if, the, if your participants cannot hear or see the faculty at this end, there is no point in your center conducting the workshop at all. Uh, most of you have uh, already had uh, access to Moodle. Uh, have you, uh, I mean the new people, have you all looked at uh, the Moodle? Have you been given an exposure? Yes? So, since this is a uh, distance uh, mode program, Moodle is one of the uh, means in which we communicate with our participants. You have uh, different uh, uh, forums on the uh, Moodle where people can address questions and either the uh, peers or uh, the faculty or the TA uh, at IIT Bombay will re uh, reply to them. There, we expect to see a healthy discussion, uh, healthy uh, query solving happening on Moodle. And this is also the place where uh, the daily activities will be put up, the schedule will be put up, and if there is any change in the schedule, everything will be put up on the Moodle. And uh, sometimes we will also give quizzes on the Moodle. So uh, when you set up your uh, labs for the workshop, you will have to make sure that there are some uh, machines which have internet access for your uh, participants to attend to the quizzes. Okay? Next, please. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have already sent uh, you the brochures, and uh, uh, I believe they reached you sometime last week. Now, uh, online registration is going on at, uh, on the IIT Bombay website, and uh, we have extended the date up to 15th of uh, May, but it will not be extended further. Even May 15th itself is quite tight, especially for my colleague to uh, be able to send money across for you, for your centers to make preparations for the workshop. We calculate the money to be sent on the number of participants that are registered at your workshops. So that is why we have a cutoff date well in advance so that we can calculate the number of uh, participants at your centers. Yeah, uh, like all our workshops, we expect the participants to be uh, bona fide teachers, whether they are visiting, whether they are contract, whether they are uh, coming on an hourly basis, it does not matter. But they should prove that they are teaching at a place and they should uh, be able to provide some sort of a letter given to them uh, by their uh, heads of the institute. So that is something that you will have to check. We, we are also checking at our end, but on the first day that is something that you will have to check when your participants come to your centers. Uh, yeah, as I said, there will be a rigorous uh, testing uh, schedule. Then. Uh, uh, we will be uh, sending you the Creative Commons uh, license and permission slips. As you know, we will be re releasing the proceedings of the, these workshops in open source, and that is why we need uh, permission from the participants to be recorded and for their recordings to be released in open source. Uh, all of you will be uh, completely uh, involved in conducting quizzes and helping the participants solving assignments, and you will be using the Moodle uh, thoroughly, so please acquaint yourself with Moodle. And uh, we will also provide you helplines during uh, the workshop. You will, ha you will have a number which will uh, take you directly to the system administrators at IIT Bombay. There will be one number which will uh, put you in uh, touch with the AVU uh, team here and another which will 
put you in touch with the administrative team. So if there are any, uh, and in addition to that, there will also be email uh, IDs. Uh, we do uh, answer our queries almost immediately, so please do not hesitate in uh, answering, uh, sorry, asking any doubts that you have. Next, please. Yeah, the main workshop uh, is expected to begin at 9 and uh, end at 5.30, and uh, these will be the breaks. The schedule will be uh, mailed to all our uh, workshop uh, coordinators, and we'll also put it up on the Moodle. Uh, after the 10 days of the main workshop, uh, the participants will be expected to do another final assignment that will take up the next two weeks of their time. Uh, the faculty here will uh, decide how the assignments are to be given, what the nature of the assignments will be, whether they should form groups or whether they should form uh, groups center-wise or whatever. The faculty here will uh, decide and let you know. And it is your duty as coordin workshop coordinators to take those uh, assignments and uh, upload them on the Moodle. And only after that, we will release the uh, certificates to be given to the participants. Okay? <clears throat> Next. Yeah, we will, uh, we will send you all the certificates. The certificates ha will have the signature of uh, uh, Professor Sudarshan, uh, Professor Fatak, and yourself as the uh, workshop coordinator. So we will send the signed uh, certificates to you, and you will uh, sign on them and distribute them to your participants. Now, um, we partly fund the workshop at your center. You will understand partly because uh, uh, my colleague will uh, explain now. Uh, now that we have moved into the second phase, parts of the funds have been uh, diminished. It used to be much more comprehensive earlier, but now since we have come into the second phase, since our workshops have uh, grown to include almost 10,000 participants at a time, obviously the funds will have to diminish. She will explain uh, in more detail. And then uh, we will need your bank details. We will uh, tell you exactly how to send us these bank details on uh, Monday. Yeah, Monday she will send you a mail about how exactly she wants you to give her the bank details. Now please remember these bank details are not your personal bank details, they are the details of your institute bank account. No, I mean we have conducted 13 workshops and we still have at least five people who send in their personal uh, account details. We still do. So unfortunately I have to say this every time. And uh, yeah, we will uh, uh, send you the details. Uh, we will send you the funds through RTGS, and uh, you are required to get back to us whenever you receive them. Yeah, next one. Uh, the funds, uh, she will uh, explain in more detail. They will uh, include uh, some travel allowance, food, lodging, boarding expenses only if you are offering uh, uh, outstation. Uh, if you are offering lodging for outstation participants, then all printing, photocopying, postal, courier charges, etc. Then honoraria for all the coordinators, your TAs, and the other support staff. And there will be some institute overheads. We will need a proper utilization certificate at the end of uh, the two weeks. Uh, these uh, bills have to be uh, submitted to us with your uh, CA certificate. Earlier we used to say okay for your accounts officer, but now MHRD has made it uh, mandatory for us that uh, these uh, utilization certificates be certified by a CA. And uh, we will talk about the budget a little bit more in uh, detail. And uh, these are the workshops uh, we have conducted so far, uh, 13 in three years. And uh, some statistics, I can share this on Moodle if, uh, if you're interested later on. Next one, please. And uh, this is our project team, uh, Mrs. Jashila Gayatonde, she's the funds and accounts uh, person. 
Sajan Dixit, you all uh, have interacted at one point or other. Uh, he looks after the e-studio. Then uh, we have uh, Mahindra Parmar and Sarita, who you may have uh, seen in the background all these five days, uh, looking after all of you. Then we have uh, Kalpana Kannan. She looks after our uh, content team. And Abhilash, who's uh, the head of the system administrators group. And uh, we also have Dinesh Remje, who helps with the online uh, registration and uh, uh, any queries that you have about uh, online uh, registration. So uh, that was the logistics part. Now I'll uh, hand over the mic to uh, Jaya to explain the uh, funds. Good afternoon, everybody. We'll now see the financial support for the DBMS main workshop. The whole process will be in three steps, fund transfers, fund utilization, and final settlement. Now for the fund transfers, we require bank details of all the remote centers. This is the format in which all remote centers will furnish their bank details to us. This format will be mailed to you. The bank account has to be in the name of the institute and it should not be any personal name. The funds will be transferred to remote center's bank account before the main workshop starts. Now we come to the next step that is the fund utilization by remote centers. The funds are to be utilized strictly as per the sanctioned budget and the utilization guidelines. Interhead fund adjustments are not allowed. Now we have already mailed you the soft copy of the budget and also hard copy is provided. The budget is in two parts, fixed cost and a variable cost. Under fixed cost, we have three subheads, honorarium to various uh, uh, team members, miscellaneous, and ex uh, miscellaneous expense budget and institute expense budget. Uh, honorarium of rupees 13,000 each is provided for the remote center coordinator and uh, workshop coordinator. If the duties of both these coordinators are performed by one person, then the honorarium amount becomes 20,000. Honorarium is also provided for system administrator, AVU and network coordinator, teaching assistants, support staff and helpers. Miscellaneous expense budget is provided for the registration kits to be purchased for the participants, stationery, postage, printing, photocopy charges, chartered accountant fees and other workshop related expenses. Institute expense budget. This amount has to be transferred to your institute account for the common facilities provided by the institute for the workshop. Then the next part of the budget is the variable cost. Again, under this head, there are three subheads, food, accommodation, and travel reimbursement. All remote centers will have to arrange lunch and tea twice a day for their participants and also to their workshop team members. Accommodation has to be arranged for outstation participants only. Travel reimbursement is up to rupees 1000 for outstation participants only. Here the distance between the participants place to the remote center has to be more than 100 kilometers one way. Each remote center will calculate their own variable costs depending upon their confirmed number of participants and the variable rates at which a food and accommodation is provided. This the total workshop cost per remote center will be their fixed cost entitlement as per the chart given in the fixed cost plus their actual variable cost. Now we come to the last step that is the final settlement of the advance sent by IIT Bombay. After the workshop is over, all remote centers will prepare final settlements in the formats provided there will be two main documents, grant utilization certificate and re receipt and payment statement. Both these documents are to be printed on the institute letterhead and they are to be signed by both the coordinators. The final settlement has to be certified by a chartered accountant. CA certification is mandatory and this is our audit requirement. The final, sub uh, the final settlement has to be submitted to IIT Bombay within one month after the workshop is over. Uh, all this information will again be mailed to you before the workshop. Thank you. And if you have any questions, you may please go ahead. 
and the for ca certification yes ca also will charge so, so we have provided ca fees in miscellaneous in, in miscellaneous or miscellaneous expenses ca fees are for okay thank you hello ha uh, ma'am there, there is we open a separate account for this uh, caste center and the remote center it's not the institute account but it's a current account for this only for this project purpose for a caste project and this uh, remote center purpose can you provide their detail you can use any account yeah is it yeah, current you can give your uh, that account details to us yeah yeah is there is uh, with the permission of the head and we operate this second only for this project of a cash and the remote center who operates the account is a uh, head with the principal okay so we got the permission from them and we open this account yes you can use the same account yeah so can provide their detail yeah okay thank you ma'am hello madam just now the madam told monday is a weave test in karnataka monday is holiday where uh, you have a holiday you can just send an email to uh, the avu team and they will try to reschedule your test okay ma test is a must whether it's a holiday uh, or not no no sun no institution is closed on that day it is it is a festival day yeah we'll give you an alternative day yeah okay thank you uh, ma'am what if a participant enrolls and it's not and uh, he or she is not turning up for the main come again please a participant has enrolled but yes, due to some reason that person is not turning up so how are we to deal with it if he doesn't turn up he doesn't turn up no but uh, initially we have to give us uh, give you all the list of participants no and you will we the list of participants is there on the website we you just have to send us attendance every day so we will monitor hello madam travel reimbursement you have stated 100 kilometers this is for one way or two way a travel is for entire 10 days period it's not per day per day yeah uh, one way travel should be 100 kilometer or both the ways it's one way excuse me ma'am uh, whether the rcc coordinator is fixed for all the workshop or we can change or in case uh, a rc coordinator of his concerned institute he is leaving the institute then what is the procedure of uh, uh, renominating a rc coordinator the uh, head of the institute has to uh, inform us that the rc coordinator has left and uh, he has to nominate a, another person in that person's place and send to us the entire procedure is exactly the way it was uh, done for the first time it has to be give, sent to us officially on a official letter head saying that so and so has been nominated hello ma'am my question is regarding the distribution of akash tablets for faculty members yeah is there any specific procedure because we are maintaining the stock books everything while giving the akash tablet to participant of the, the faculty participant for the workshop is there any specific undertaking or any specific things are there yeah we are working on the procedure actually uh, you will have to take an undertaking from the uh, faculty saying that uh, you have that i mean you are issuing that uh, the tablet to that per particular person for uh, maybe a year and he has to he or she has to return it to you and he or she has to take full care of it that prop, that tablet belongs to iit bombay and it is entrusted to you in your care so that, i will be sending out an uh, undertaking very soon Fine. thank you hello uh, ma'am there is a certificate for the coordinators also like teaching assistant we had so uh, is there iit bombay provide some certificate to them also to what to uh, teaching, teaching assistants teaching assistants the people we had mtech students they had helps in the labs and all these so do they get certificate from for their work or not uh, yes the teaching assistants get certificates for their uh, support yeah in the workshop okay, okay. thank you <coughs> yeah my question is that uh, we have received the 200 tablets but a uh, few of them are not booting properly so we were just want to know that uh, what should we do with booting problem in the tablets they are not running properly they are not running not booting properly okay so we have uh, we have created a mail id called akash tech support yeah. akash tech support i have sent that email id to all the akash coordinators so okay. whatever problems you have please send us an email with the details of those tablets you know the numbers pack um, id tablets number and all my number yeah yeah ma'am and send it to akash uh, tech support at csc. iitb.ac.in yeah 
How, madam, how many teaching assistants we can appoint is based on the number of participants? It's or? one per 15 uh, participants. Yeah, one uh, TA per 15 participants. It is given in the guidelines. And system administrator was one. One. One is enough. Yeah. No? When we should provide the name of the teaching assistants? You provide us the name of the teaching assistants at the end of uh, the uh, workshop. Then uh, how they will get their certificate because you will send the certificate, I think, in advance? We, no. <laughs> we will send you the certificates later on, oh, after oh. the workshop. Okay. And after the... Oh. After we <laughs> get certain. the attendance, after we get all the lists from you. Okay, thank you. 41 people has already registered in our, uh, in my college the work for the workshop yeah. but uh, after they got registered the link are being verified but not yet approved is there anything mm. the registration is not approved for any of the member sir we are just checking the permission letter from remote center wise so okay. give us some time maybe by monday we will finish it off okay hello so for 1029 also the same problem already nine participants have already registered they, they are request only verified but not confirmed and since the status is I think since last 10 to 15 days. Yeah, so you will it get confirmed? No? Yeah, it is yes. taking a bit of time because uh, we are uh, looking at all the permission letters carefully. So, uh, but uh, we were hoping to finish it by uh, today. Unfortunately, of it got a bit delayed but I think by maximum Tuesday things will be in a better condition. Uh, can I nominate uh, my, one of the, my participant as a teaching assistant? Participant as a teacher. Uh, a person cannot be a participant and a teaching assistant. They are exclusive. He has to be either a participant or a teaching assistant. Thank you. Excuse me, madam. Uh, can the lab programmers uh, register for this workshop? Lab programmers. Repeat your question, please. Can the lab programmers register for the workshop, madam? Lab programmers, okay, who are interested in the... Uh, no, unfortunately, uh, we allow only faculty members. Then they have already sent the request letter, okay. So, I think they can They can attend, but we will not be uh, uh, able to give them any funds or certificates unless they help in the workshop. We can give them certificates as su support staff, but uh, not as participants. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. RC coordinator be the course participant. RC coordinator can be course participant. RC coordinator can be can the be course nice. participant. Uh, if if he is able to look after both the things, he can be, na. Because the course itself will also be quite uh, rigorous. We do not want him to be unjust to either of his roles. Ma'am, uh, what is the quality of whether a UG student or PG student or a, a faculty should be a teaching assistant? Uh, it depends upon you. You can have uh, stu a student or your uh, faculty uh, colleague. That's or a research scholar can be. Yes, it's not a problem. Excuse, Excuse me, ma'am. Ma uh, we are inviting uh, remote center uh, nearby colleges to our remote center. We are looking for some brochure like this, which you are given now, and uh, they can view it uh, very easily. We have a soft copy, but we don't have a hard copy no, of this. No, we have already sent to all the rem all 250 of you. We have sent. No. Uh, already, there are about. Uh, my colleague tells me there are about 20 of you who are workshop coordinators and who have also registered as participants in the main workshop. <laughs> Needless to say, you will be cancelled uh, as the participant in the main workshop. Uh, we have the intake for uh, 60 uh, participants and until here today we have registered 53 candidates. If the number increases beyond 60, do we have some permission? Or should we allow to them or not? Uh, Since the last date already extended to uh, 15th of the May. If there are people who are uh, who are more than uh, that number, yeah. and if you have the capacity, you will have to send me a undertaking saying that you have the capacity and then you, could, you can manage to fit in so many more people. Okay. Only then we will allow those people to go to your center. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, 
Ma'am, if somebody has registered for the uh, workshop, uh, workshop, then uh, can she or she uh, be nominated as a teaching assistant? I just said that... No, now, matlab, if we can nominate them now, just now, the, if they are registered for the if, workshop... Yes, but their registration will have to be cancelled. You'll have yes, to tell yes. us that. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. There is system administrator, administrator, ABU, and network coordinators. These are three person. And what about their uh, distribution of money? Or that has to be shared. Shared. It has to be shared. There's, there is no rule uh, like administrator uh, is a different amount or like no. Is it equally or what? ABU system administrator, uh, ABU and network coordinator can be same. ABU, ABU and network coordinator can be the same person. Okay. But system administrator will be a different person. Yes. Okay? Yes. There will be two different people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I am asking uh, for payment, administrator and AVU and network coordinator. So, equally distributed are or are persons. different, different? Uh, no, equally distributed. Equally distributed. And one more thing, institute overhead is directly transferred to institute. It has there to is be no transferred. That, uh, uh, other, uh, the amount has to be transferred. It is 10,000 for, it is 10,000, the amount is 10,000. It has to be transferred to your institute account. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, one last question. <laughs> Do we have to take any undertaking as uh, we, have, we have signed it over here that there won't be any objection in uh, taking video and uh, doing Yes, uh, you have signed a, a Creative Commons license permission slip here. Yeah. We will be sending you the same thing. That you have to get signed from your participant. Okay. Uh, I'll stop here.